Today, we're going to be checking out the Warthog from Thorpey Effects. So this was sent over to me for mass distribution to check out. Uh, they're cool. They like to just send me, you know, random dirt boxes and stuff from time to time to see if I like to check them out. And I always like it too, because I get off the wall stuff I'd never think about checking out, like the Thorpey Warthog. I actually hadn't heard of it until they sent it over. So what is this thing? It is a distortion, sort of. It's more like a distortion fuzz, especially when you turn it up. Uh, it's it's kind of more scooped, almost like a big muff. Um, and in a lot of ways, it kind of feels like a big muff, but also it also feels a lot like a rat. Like it kind of has that sponginess and, and like thick wall of sound that you get from a rat. And the tone control kind of rolls off like a rat does as well. Instead of it being just like an overall tone, the more you turn it up, it's actually rolling off top end. And the more you roll it back, uh, the more high end it gets. It's almost like a, a rat meets a muff with uh, some extra bells and whistles. Uh, it has this cool caliber control that they're known for putting on some other stuff, I think on another pedal called the Gut Shot. And essentially what that does is it kind of controls the saturation and like overtones of the gain control. So you kind of use it in conjunction with the gain. And when you start to drive them both together, it gets really fuzzy and it really starts to blur the line. It becomes like a fuzz distortion kind of a thing, super sludgy, super doomy. Uh, so I can definitely see why Mass Distro sent this over for me to check out since, you know, sludgy doomy awesomeness is is one of my favorites personally i think this thing sounded best for metal tones in particular if you boost it so for the in mix i'm going to be hitting it with a boss sd1 and i'll have that in the out of mix as well so you can hear it with a boost and then i'll play it without a boost so you can just kind of you know hear how it sounds i'm going to be plugging into this with my dunnable cyclops and i'm going to be using their uh, stock Cthulhu pickups for this demo, and it's going to be going into my Friedman uh, BE50 Deluxe, and that's going to be going out into my Two Notes Captor Axe with an IR blend of my VM1265 and DB77 speakers. Let's check it out.
definitely hard to nail down exactly, you know, what this is. It's kind of its own thing, but it's also reminiscent, like I said, of a Big Muff in some ways and a rat in some other ways. Like I said, really blurs the line between what's a distortion and a fuzz here. I, I personally think it sounds best being hit with an overdrive, something like an SD-1 works great. Now, it's not for me personally, uh, but that's okay. You know, everything has to be for me personally for it to be good. That's why, you know, it's the cool thing about gear. And I don't have to, you know, think that I would use this live or in a recorded context for me to be able to demo and get some cool tones. And I was definitely able to get some really cool, big, thick, fuzz, distortion, dooming kind of tones, like really kind of sludgy riffs were just pouring out of me when I uh, plugged into this thing and got it dialed in. I'd like to know your thoughts. If you dig it, if you think you'd might like to try this out or could fit it into kind of like a doom or a sludge rig for yourself. I'm going to have a link down below if you want to check it out personally or anything else from Thorpe. Thanks for watching. Stay metal.